Hello and welcome everybody, J-Man back for another reaction. It's my Sunday. I hope you're all doing well out there, whatever day of the week it is for you. Uh, going through multiple different types of uh, requests here today. Remember, if you do have a song you'd like me to react to, you need to find my video titled Your Suggestions here. Link is down in the description below. Don't put your request in a reaction video like this one. That won't make my list. You can also connect with me in other ways you can see to my side. And if you do enjoy the music we're reacting to, please do what you can to support the artists. Links to the original videos are down in the description below. Pop over, like their videos, subscribe to the artists. Um, just do something to help support them so they can continue to make the kind of music that we enjoy. So, uh, I believe this is our third song that we've reacted to um, by As I Lie Dying. Um, I've enjoyed what I've heard from them so far. Uh, we have checked out the lyrics a little bit ahead of time. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm even 50% sure that I understand exactly what it's talking about. Um, maybe we'll get some clues in terms of uh, the lyrical meaning um, just by hearing it uh, as they're singing. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's dive on in. As I Lie Dying, Torn Between, Let's Get It. Okay, uh, so quick pause just to talk about it so far. So yeah, it, it the more I listen to these guys, the more they they definitely remind me of. Uh, I'm assuming these guys came out sometime in like the late 2000s, early 2010s, um, just based on the musical styling. Um, they rely remind me a lot of a band called uh, A Day to Remember. Um, which was a band that came out around that same time. Um, when I, I went back to college late in life, graduated in 2013, um, there was, uh, there were a couple of classmates of mine that turned me on to some music that the young kids were listening to at the time. And, uh, that was one of the bands that, uh, I was introduced to back then, um, a day to remember, uh, we'll have to do a reaction or two to them. I, I, really enjoyed what I did hear from them, but I never did really dove deep into them. Um, but it's got that, you know, the harsh vocals kind of, um, 
contrasted by the clean vocals. Um, and I really enjoy the contrast between the two. Um, it really feels to me like the band uses the harsh vocals to express the the inner turmoil going on. Um, you know, for the for this song, the lyrics are definitely talking about. Uh, well, I, they're they're talking a lot about being torn. Um, so it starts out pulled both ways, but still suspended. The worst of each reduced and blended, still suspended. Uh, I thought I was stuck between two worlds because I was not willing to let go. Recklessly pulled both ways, but somehow still suspended. The worst of each reduced and blended. But as life unfolded, I realized the momentum to drift from side to side came from within, came from inside. Um, so one interpretation of this could be that it, it, he, we're talking about a person that's in a relationship where... Um, the relationship is dying and um you know you still love the person and you're torn between um loving them and and sometimes hating them and feeling like you need to move on um but the harsh vocals to me feels like they can represent the the inner turmoil the angst the the anger um going on and, and then the the lighter vocals the the more clean vocals can be representative of the hope that still remains, you know, that maybe you can keep this relationship alive or whatever. But um, later in the song, they talk about, um, you know, wishing they could have both hearts, um, but neither heart is enough to, to fill their veins kind of a thing. Um, but uh, yeah, so anyways, I got off on a little bit of a sidetrack there. Um, but, uh, I feel like in a song like this, the two different styles of vocals can express, um, you know, either side of maybe, um, some sort of a, a dichotomy that you're facing, um, you know, the, the tortured pain side versus the hopeful side. And that's kind of what I get from it. So let's back it up a smidge or two and we'll keep on going. Yeah, Bullet for My Valentine would be from that same time frame, right? Little, a, a little like um, My Chemical Romance, too, from that same kind of time frame. All right. Yeah, that was good. I really like that. Um, like I said, it it, it seems, uh, and I don't know if uh, if Daniel knows when the band, uh, when this particular song came, uh, when it was made, released, uh, when the band came about. But I definitely feel like they, I I feel like they came from that sort of a time frame. All right, Borden, have a good one. Um, but uh, yeah, like I said, reminds me of, uh, you know, a couple of different bands, My Chemical Romance, um, you know, and, and bands from from that kind of a time. But I really enjoyed it. That was good stuff. Thank you so much for that request, Daniel. Hope you enjoyed it. YouTube, let me know what you thought down in the comments below. We'll be back for a few more requests to finish out my day. Hope to see you all for that. Peace.